Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Huh? I look a little different today. Well, I did get a haircut. Oh, you mean I'm a PNG. That's right. So I tried to download more RAM last night and somehow I got frozen in place mostly besides my mouth when I try to talk. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll be back to normal after my debut on April 1st. Speaking of PNGs, Today's video is about creating your own reactive PNG for streaming, which you can use for either your video making, collaboration on Discord, or to help hype up your pre-debut. First, you need to go into your Discord's user settings, click on appearance, then scroll down to developer mode and select the option. Okay, once you do that, download Discord Stream Kit. Don't worry, I'll put a link of that down below. You'll see some options on how you want to set this up. Select the third option called Voice Widget. Then, click on the server options and select which voice channel you want the widget to react to when you're speaking. Don't worry about any of the other settings. Okay, grab the link under the image, go into your streaming application and input it as a browser source. I'm using Streamlabs, so this is the application I'm going to be putting this into. Set the frame size to 1920 by 1080. I had to actually make my height higher because it kind of cropped my model a little bit. So if you're having a similar issue, just try that. Now, I want you to scroll down to the custom CSS because there is some code that we have to put in there. But don't worry. Luckily for us, a wonderful VTuber by the name Jin has a website to paste the coding incredibly easy, and I'll link that down below the video also. All you gotta do is just follow his instructions on the website, and the code will be generated for you. Alright, so paste your Discord user ID, and then paste the URLs for the images you want to use for speaking and non-speaking, then click Generate. Boom! His default settings will cause your image to be dark when you aren't talking, then light up when you are talking. I personally don't like that, so I adjusted the not speaking brightness to 100% and then I used two separate PNGs, one with my mouth open and one with my mouth closed, and then I generated my code that way. You can also put GIFs in this as well. And that's usually for if you want to stimulate blinking or breathing. Just play around with it and see what you like. Alrighty, once you get the code, just paste it into the CSS of the browser source. Save it and close the window and that's it. All you get to do after is just join the voice channel where you directed the widget to react to. Make sure your mic is working and bam, just like that, you're a reactive PNG VTuber. Congrats on moving towards the first step into VTubing. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I will link Jin's credentials. So if you want to watch his video explanation on it, then you can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more VTubing tutorial content. All right, see you in the next video, Mina. Bye.